recording hello all welcome to my youtube channel skill rpa and uh, this is a third session in the real time use cases supply chain management and in the past two videos we have discussed like uh, the first video is about the requirement workshop and the second video is about like uh, how to create the as is process and in this video we are going to see how we are going to create a to be process flow and what will be the difference between the as is uh, process flow and to be process flow there there won't be much difference when we uh, think about like the process is much more stable and there is no optimization is required or no nothing to be standardized as an input so it will be almost close but uh, let us see how we are going to do uh, as a to be process and let me create one more tab here and let me rename to to be process and now uh, almost everything will be same like here uh, if you see in the other tab uh, opening and downloading and clicking on the procurement and taking also yeah everything will be same let me just copy this and i'll paste it in this tab and now what we are going to do is even this next step is also same okay and now what the robot will do is like it is going to scrap all the uh, let us say not scrap extract all the pivot numbers available Uh, bear with me like i'm not that much good with the spellings so yeah extract all the p1 numbers uh, which are available in this form once we extract all the information all the p1 numbers available we will be getting it into a data table so we just need to loop through each p1 number so now here we just need to put it in a loop so Uh, let us see not p1 numbers available uh, when we are looping through uh, each p1 number uh, doesn't look good like if we say p1 number is available So uh, instead of saying P1 number is available, let us say all P1 numbers processed. and now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to click on submit and log out It 
Let me give you some shortcut only. And let me connect this. And by this, the process will be ended. And which means like all the PO numbers are processed. If I want to add a text, uh, it's asking me to go drag it out. Yes. Yeah. And let me see here. Did I captured S here? No. So I just need to. This is a part of a previous video. And let me just drag it out and let me put yes here. Sorry, I forgot to put this yesterday. Uh, the previous session. Yeah. Now on this to be processed, if it is uh, all if all the P1 numbers are not processed, then I think uh, we need to go for the next. Let me put it here itself with some distance. Yeah. Let me have this here and put no. Search PO number in procurement app. And now, once the procurement app P1 number is available, then we need to do that. But here, what we are going to do is P1 number found. There might be a chance that the P1 number might be missing in the P1 number uh, purchasing application. So what we do is we just need to check if the PO number is found, then only we are going further with that particular PO. And let me put this as S. And in case if it is not found, what we are going to do? We are going to send notification email to Purchasing team. Here it will be no. Drag it down for some viewability and put on no. Okay, and let me just take it out here. Yeah. Just drag it bit down. That and let me take it here. And uh, I just want this to be look good because uh, every time, like uh, when we are creating the flows, it is for uh, uh, viewability. So let me connect this to, it needs to go here because it needs to go for the next P1 number. So here we need to, go for get the next pre one number so we need to introduce one more here let me just put this here get uh, next pre one number done we just need to connect this to and we need to connect this dot here yeah so i just want to keep this bit up so that like we could be able to see how the flow is going and if the po number is found capture date order total date from here and the next and we need to put one more condition here uh, 
present is available for state like whatever the state we have taken do we have the agent available in the mapping then we are going to take it up If not, we are going to send a notification email. So this will be no. Let me take this up and combine these two. Select this. And this is S, right? So let me just drag it up just to write uh, the condition. Isn't this available? Input or enter. Let us type enter ship date order total and select agent in supply chain app once this is done we need to go for next p1 number so let me just take this up and put it here and let me change it to Oops, it's creating a problem. Let me just uh, drag this bit more up so that I'll just have a better. Uh, visibility of the flow yeah so as is process we just uh, put a couple of conditions here because uh, i just want we just want our robot to handle a couple of uh, exceptions or like uh, it want we want the robot to do a couple of validations so uh, so till this place everything is same and after getting the PO number, we are searching in the procurement app and then we are checking whether the PMO number is really available in the procurement app or not. Sometimes like it may, there might be a chance that it will be missing. Or uh, let me say uh, seven, eight. Uh, in this case, we are not going to get anything like no records match found. So there might be a chance uh, in case if you have a wrong PO number or like sometimes, uh, see, it's not like a wrong PO number. Sometimes what will happen is we'll be having some PO number which is available and sometimes that might not be updated back in the tracking website. So there might be such a scenarios. So we are just doing that. Uh, we are handling in the robot side. And after that, like there might be a chance that like isn't, uh, might not be available for a particular state which we extracted and for safer side we are just checking that as well in case if we are finding any exceptions here we are sending a notification email to the purchasing team and we are continuing with the next record this uh, is our as is flow and uh, in the next session we will be continuing with uh, how we are going to prepare the pdd and till now what we have done is like we have seen the requirement workshop and then we created as is flow and we created to be flow and now we are going to create prepare our process definition document 
and that will be a particular document uh, based on some template we are going to create and we are going to include this as is process and to be process flows into that particular document and thanks for watching this video and please uh, like share subscribe to skill rpa youtube channel and uh, stay tuned